Hello and welcome to Cozy Rosy Reviews from my couch. Today I am doing a series review on Ozark Season 4 Part 1. Currently streaming on Netflix, it is 7 episodes long. Stars Jason Bateman, Laura Linney, and Julia Garner. In this series, a financial advisor drags his family from Chicago to Missouri Ozarks, where he must launder money to appease a drug boss. So in season three, it ended in the goriest way possible. And season four basically just picked up same day a couple of hours later. So that was amazing. But also when season four starts, there's a thing that happens. And in my little brain, I'm like, okay. So basically in part one, they're going to tell me what leads up to this thing. I was wrong. I was so wrong. We went the entire part one and we did not get to where I thought we were going to get. We got somewhere else. That part, that place was definitely interesting. I'm happy we got there. But the second part, which they haven't announced the date yet, is going to be freaking insane. This part was freaking insane. From the beginning to the end, in the middle, all the parts, insane. Usually, seasons of Ozark are like little bit crazy little bit crazy set up set up set up omg the end is cray cray this season was crazy beginning to end there there was setup there was like slight setup but it was mostly like things happening all the time every episode boom boom that is my representation of the season in this part they basically ripped a page out of the game of thrones book and I'll leave it at that. There are no boring moments. A lot of the storylines that we thought they were going to go down were real. The son, I forget his name, he's so annoying. Um, at the end of season three, he was kind of at odds with the mom and you know, we knew he was going to go work for someone else and all that stuff, so there was that. He's such a little brat though. Like, sir, everyone's just trying to keep you alive. Bring it down a notch, you're like 12. And then Ruth goes and she also worked with someone else and I love Ruth. She is my favorite person in the whole wide world. And this, ah, uh, these last couple of, you know what? From the beginning, this family has done nothing but hurt this girl. And I just, I just want her to thrive and prosper. That's what I want for her. That's, that's what I want for her future. Is that going to happen? Probably not. But that's what I really love for her story to end in that way. Give it a five. I'm gonna watch this again and I'm gonna watch it again right before part two comes out so I'm like refreshed and my brain happy and healthy definitely going to watch this again so I literally have no clue what part two is going to bring us I have like no theories I expect it to be the wild wild west basically is what I'm expecting because I have nothing else like I it doesn't matter what I predict it's gonna be wrong because this was insane it's seven or eight more episodes but we don't have a release date and it's giving me a lot of anxiety anywho well, ozark are you all caught up if you're not caught up go watch this show it is emmy winning for a reason and if you like my video make sure you like subscribe and share i definitely appreciate it so until next time friends adios